The handshake has always been a peaceful greeting because with an empty hand, you can't hold a weapon. And some researchers speculate that the up and down motion was meant to shake out hidden weapons. In a study, researchers found that people who shake hands are more likely to raise their hands to their faces after, often sniffing their own hands, leading them to speculate that we are searching for social chemical signals on our hands. This gesture hasn't always meant peace. According to folklore, this sign started in the 1400s at the Battle of Agincourt. Whenever the French captured a British archer, they would cut two of the fingers needed to draw a bowstring from their hand. To taunt those who had their fingers cut off, other archers would raise two fingers to the sky. Winston Churchill popularized the sign to mean victory during World War II. For much of the 20th century, this gesture meant f you in Britain. But on a positive note, the Spice Girls used it as a symbol for girl power. Some speculate that fist bumping comes from boxing, where opponents kiss gloves before the match. In the 70s, popular Baltimore Bullets guard Fred Carter was known for knuckle bumping, though even he points out the gesture predates him. Some speculate that it's because of germaphobes who dislike the direct contact of handshakes. Either way, it's as American as apple pie. In 2008, 44th President Barack Obama fist bumped First Lady Michelle Obama on the campaign trail, which at the time was a very controversial thing for a president to do. A fist bump, a pound, a terrorist fist jab? So controversial. The first documented high five was in 1977, during a game between the Los Angeles Dodgers and Houston Astros. Dusty Baker hit a home run and his teammate Glenn Burke rushed towards him with his hand in the air. Baker didn't know what to do, so he slapped it. Because of Dusty Baker and Glenn Burke, the Dodgers considered the high five their signature salute. Burke is described as an incredibly charismatic person. He was the first major league player to come out as gay after his retirement in 1982. Clapping is a socially driven, learned behavior. Simply put, you're more likely to do it if others are. When primates clap hands in the wild, it is because they're scared or just discovered food. And for some reason, in 3rd century BC Rome, they instructed the audience to provide applause at the end of plays. According to researchers, we only have 19 different types of smiles, and only 6 are used for happiness. There's even a miserable smile, meant to convey in a socially acceptable way that you are sad or in emotional pain. In a study monitoring over 1,000 laugh episodes, only 20% of laughter could be attributed to something funny. Most of the time, people laugh during natural pauses in conversation, meaning that laughter is a form of communication and not just a reflex. Did you know any of these facts already? Or have you learned something new?